Cain Velasquez denied bail behind bars. Guys, should he get out? Should he be set free? Let's talk about it. I want to dial this in. I think it's important to discuss. Put yourself in Kane's shoes for a second, okay? For, right off the top, free Kane. I'm going with free Kane. Hypothetically, let's just say it's true. No one's trying to get sued here. Let's just say it's true. The molestation's true. The guy accused of it. It did happen to Kane's daughter, um, niece, cousin. They're using it as a relative because she's a minor. Let's just say this. Let's say it happened. Let's dial in. Put yourself in his shoes, okay? Put yourself in his shoes. You're sitting there and, and you really can't get any up. You can't get anywhere with law enforcement. You can't get anywhere. The guy's out on bail. The guy accused of it's on bail. If the, if the justice system's not going to fix this, and it is true, and everyone knows it's true, what do you do as a man? Put yourself in those shoes. What do you do? You're sitting there. This is happening. You The, the feelings are crazy. The, the damage is done. The damage is done. And I know everyone's going to say, yeah, but he put himself into the hands of the law, and he, try, he tried to make this happen. He used a gun. Listen, I got to tell you, up until the gun came out, that's probably where the turmoil starts because if he didn't use a gun and he just beat the shit out of the guy, which which is which would have been the normal thing for most people, right? If you don't have a weapon, but if you do, I can see why this went like this. But let's just say this. If Kane got out, former UFC fighter, he came out and he beat the brains out of this guy, okay? I think the whole world's going to go, this guy had it coming for him. With the gun situation, I still think most of the world said this guy had it coming for him. Because of the system that we have in place, this guy can actually do this. And, and even though he's the accused right now, again, no one trying to get sued. We don't know if it's, we don't have it in stone yet, but we're saying he did it, right? Everyone's saying he did it. So let's just say this. If in fact, they don't get this right and this guy walks, Cain Velasquez and the rest of the world is forced to walk around town and, and be around neighborhood with this guy who did this. So what's supposed to happen there, right? What's supposed to happen? So at the end of the day, you put yourself in his shoes and as a man, you're looking out for your family first and you're tracking this guy down. That's what happened. He's jamming his truck, ramming his truck, sorry, right into the other guy. He pulls his gun out, he shoots. When he shoots, he tries to aim for the guy, of course, and he hits a stepfather of the of, of the accused, uh, the guy there that they're, they're saying that did this. So, you know, I don't know what, what to say about other than Free Kane. I mean, look, the guy's known by a lot of people. Everyone around him, training partners and friends, I'll say is a good guy. A lot of people in the media have free Kane shirts everywhere. I don't think if he just randomly went up and shot some random person, they would say that, you know, free Kane. I think the guy was trying to fight for his family. He went after it. He put it in his own hands, the law in his own hands. He wanted to fix it. He doesn't want this guy walking the streets. He went out and he handled business. That's what he tried to do, tried to handle business. And now because he tried to handle business, now, the guys behind bars denied bail, facing north of 20 years, if found guilty of this. He's got a great attorney, celebrity attorney, so we'll see how this plays out. I will bring an update for you.